was married. St. Rose was born at Viterbo in Italy on February 9, 1656 to Goffredo and Marzia. She was naturally gifted with intelligence and human sensibility. The education she received in her family helped her to develop many talents of the mind and heart and to lead a life with Christian principles. Even though she had made a vow to consecrate her life to God at the age of seven, she lived through a conflict between the attractions of the world and the promises made to God during the early years of her youth. But Rosa was able to overcome this crisis with trusting prayers and mortification. Based on the guidance she received from her father, she was able to enter the Dominican monastery of St. Catherine with the prospect of fulfilling her vows to God, where she learned to listen to God in silence and meditation from the help of her aunt, Anna Cecilia. But due to the sudden death of her father, she was forced to return to her suffering mother immediately. Saint Rose had to go through a serious burden in her life, with her brother dying at an early age and losing her mother immediately, unable to bear the sorrow of her son's death. But Rosa did not stop over there. She kept moving on with the desire to do something great for God. She began to gather girls and women from the area to her own home to recite the rosary. Touched by the sufferings of the women in the society, she began to form the Christian formation of young women. With the collaboration of two friends and with the approval from the Bishop of Viterbo, she began her first school. The main objective was to give all girls of common people a complete Christian formation and to prepare them for life in the society. It received recognition from the religious and civil authorities due to its intention of human promotion and spiritual uplifting of women. Rosa's initiatives received great support from the then Pope Clement XI, the cardinals and the governors such that she was asked for schools in their areas. The duties of Rosa became so intense, consisting of travel, hard work filled with joy, and sacrifices made for the foundations of new communities. These schools improved the moral values among the youth within a very short span of time. Thus, St. Rose is considered to be the pioneer and founders of education for young women. St. Rose died a saintly death in the community of St. Mark's in Rome on the evening of May 7, 1728. Prayer was the breath of her day. Intimate communion with the Lord was nourished by mental prayers, which the saint considered as essential nourishment of the soul. Amen. Holy Trinity, one God, have John the Baptist, pray for us. Say, Peter, 